Welcome to My Life and Coasters, where today I'm here at the opening of Toys R Us in Chelmsford. Yeah, so if you didn't know, Toys R Us, which is, well, all around the world, a massive company. Uh, basically, they used to be toy supermarkets. Anyway, in 2018, they went into administration, and they've started to open some more shops now. Um, so yeah, they've actually got nine shops in the UK, and this is the opening of Chelmsford. It's about uh, half ten, we've come down here to Chelmsford, it opened at 8.30. So yeah, we're going to go check it out. Looks quite busy. Oh, here we go then, going back into a Toys R Us for the first time in ages. Wow, this is exciting. In store now. Right, let's head in there. Uh, we'll find a bin down here, probably. Wow, Toys R Us. Up the escalators we go to Toys R Us. got some balloons there it's like a grand opening thing it's not as busy as I thought I thought it might be a queue or something all right so we've made it to the top of the escalator and into Toys R Us so yeah first thing to notice is it's sort of like a carpet change as the perimeter to the shop lots of Lego here have a quick look at this not seen that one in yet what is good to see is the prices are low like normal price rather than Toys R Us which used to be quite expensive. We've also got some uh, more Lego around here. Lego minifigures, 349 base plates, some Monopoly and that all half price, 7.99. That's really good. 14.99. Have a look at some of that in a minute. Double half price and really good deals actually. I mean Hot Wheels here 199 Oh no, that's just the branded ones. But yeah, no, normally Hot Wheels is like £2.50 now. Cards Against Humanity, Family Edition. It has got a nice feel to it in here and the prices are good. Um, yeah. yeah it's, I'm not a fan of how like what the photo me and stuff. It feels a bit too WH Smithy. But yeah, it's still all the branding, like Jeffrey's heavily featured. I know he was doing meet and greets. He'll be doing that throughout the day. Yeah, there's like others in Camberley today as well. That's opening. So we've got a uh, Jeffrey. <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. <laughs> I might do a bit. Yeah, I might get a picture with Jeffrey. Swing ball. Yeah, it isn't big though. I mean, it's. If I had to describe it, I'd describe it as the entertainer. Um, if anyone's seen the entertainer in Tesco's, like the big ones, it reminds me of that. I think I'm going to pick up a Monopoly. No. Yeah. Cool. Jeffrey, photo opportunity. Drones. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to head out now. Um, yeah, I'll talk a bit more about it when we get outside. Right, so I've just left Toys R Us now, heading back through WH Smith's. Uh, I'm not too sure on location, like up the stairs, but obviously if they want you to walk through the shop to get to it. Um, but yeah, just going to head out the front now and have a look at the uh, sign, see if there is one for it. Um, yeah, it seems quite hidden. So yeah, they have actually got a sign out the front as well. Uh, yeah, all the Jeffrey branding, it's quite nice. In store now at WH Smith. Toys R Us, get out of the way of this van. So yeah, there's one last look at the front of Toys R Us. Very nice, just a little sign in the corner there, along with WH Smith. I'm just going to talk a bit more about what I thought of it. So yeah, just left Toys R Us now, then uh, only got a couple of bits, like a Lego minifigure and a Monopoly, because that was on sale. Um, but yeah, uh, I did quite like it in there. It had all the branding, like Jeffrey and that. But obviously it isn't a toy superstore, which is what Toys R Us based themselves off of. So I'm not too sure if it works. It seemed a bit forced just trying to get the brand back, but hopefully they'll uh, expand and do more like individual shops in the future. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was quite good. Uh, if you've got one near you, I'd definitely go and check it out just to see what it's like. But it's good to see them back. They've got nine shops now, which is like an eleventh of what they did have before they shut down. That's where I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll see you next one. Bye for now.